But New Year's Eve is just around the corner, which means a lot of people in Buffalo will head out for a night on the town. We're checking in with William Batard to learn about how his law office is helping keep you safe on New Year's. And of course, before any big night where a lot of people go to town, we always check in with you because you have a lot of details to share with the safe and sober drive home, which is crucial when we're talking about enjoying a night out but not making it dangerous. Yeah, well, on New Year's Eve, it's, uh, it's a big night for going out and drinking and, and celebrating the New Year's. And one of the things people have to understand is no safe limit for drinking and driving. So on this New Year's Eve, we're having our seventh annual Safe and Sober Free Ride Home program. And so what we're doing is allowing people to get a free ride home from Buffalo to, to their homes, a 20-mile radius. And what it does is they get a free ride home for both them and their car. And one of the things you want to talk about with this is you have to also, before you go out, think about how many people you're going to want to transport back home. You were telling me if you have four people in the car and you want to get home, but the car only has four seats, you're going to have to leave a seat for the driver. Correct. Now, Designated Drivers of Buffalo, we partner with them. We've been partnering with them for uh, seven years, and they're wonderful. But one of the things that's pretty interesting that on occasion someone will say, well, we have four people and we want to put the driver in the car. Well, that doesn't quite work. I mean, you have to have a, a designated driver of Buffalo is very safe and they're not going to be able to have someone sit on their lap. And is drinking and driving as big of an issue as, you know, everyone is prone to think it is in Western New York? Well, I mean, it, there's, because there's no safe limit, it's, it's always one of those frightening things that you do not want to be uh, the person that hurts somebody um, or gets themselves arrested. I mean, I was out on, after a party on uh, Saturday night and someone behind me got pulled over. I mean, so there's, there's police out there pulling people over and you do not want to be out there um, being the one arrested and you don't want to be the person that hurts somebody. Of course, this is a great way to get home safely. Now, on the flip side, if you are a host for a New Year's party, is there anything you should kind of keep in mind to make sure that your guests get home safely, or are there any tips to making sure that your New Year celebration is as safe as it could possibly be. Yes. I mean, if you're a host, it's always good to plan ahead. And one of the great ways to do that is to be able to have non-alcoholic beverages uh, for the people that are going to be the designated drivers. And you got to treat them as kind of stars because they're the ones that are getting people home safely and you want to have the, uh, a nice non-alcoholic drink for them. And for people that want a little bit more information about what you're doing or the Safe and Sober Drive Home program, where can they find that? You can find that at WilliamMatar.com. Go to our community page, and we have all tips about how to uh, be safe when you're you're out uh, celebrating on New Year's Eve. And of course, no one wants to start the New Year's with an accident or something else that's going to set you up for failure. That's correct. All right. Thank you so much thank for joining us this morning.